Okay, so let's uh, do this problem now. Uh, so now that we've figured out how many uh, Daltons or AMUs one molecule of carbon disulfide weighs, um, here, let's erase all of this other stuff. It wants us now to figure out, well, how many um, grams does one molecule of carbon disulfide weigh? So, um, gram is really big relative to one molecule. Remember, molecules are very, very tiny. So, um, of course, there's going to be a conversion factor, and we talked about it. So, one Dalton or one AMU atomic mass unit equals um, 1.661 times 10 to the negative 24th grams. Okay. So, remember your conversion, how to do conversion factors from unit 1, how to do conversions from unit 1. Um, and you can just take this number here and convert it to gram. So, we've got the mass here in Daltons. We just need the mass in grams. So, that's going to equal, well, 76.143 Daltons. And then you just do your conversion factor. I'm like sliding downhill there. I always do that. Try to keep it even. So um, one Dalton equals 1.661 times 10 to the negative 24th um, grams, of course. And that's going to cancel, cancel. Okay. And then take your calculator and then multiply uh, your last answer by 1.661. E to the negative 24. And remember, on a lot of calculators, E is this times 10. So just push E. And then you should get a very small number, right? As you can imagine, right? This number times this number is going to be a very small number. It should be somewhere around 10 to the negative 22, because this is, you know, in the tens region. So, or two decimal places, right? So um, let's see if it is. Yeah, it is. So in fact, the number is 1.26, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, okay. times 10 to the negative 22 grams. So that's how much one molecule of carbon disulfide weighs in grams. Okay. So, as you would imagine, smaller than one gram because very tiny. So, make sure you know how to do that. So, that, I think that's your first conversion factor for your unit, too.